Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. We already covered so many different topics on the Cosplay Electronics series, from soldering tips to how to animate uh, LEDs without any programming to how to diffuse their light and so on. And all of these skills are important, but uh, today's video is slightly different. Today I want to show you how you can control your project's lights, be it a cosplay or a prop, with your phone with zero effort. Pure plug and play. Usually hooking up any kind of DIY project with your phone is kind of tiresome. You have to figure out the Arduino part, then there's the Bluetooth chip, custom scripting. Ain't nobody got time for that! That is where this guy comes in. A Bluetooth RGB controller. It's really cool. On one side it takes in power, typically from 9 to 12 volts. Uh, I'm using a power supply, but obviously batteries work too. On the other end you connect your analog RGB LEDs. Not a NeoPixel kind this time. It also comes with an app, both for iOS and Android. When supplied with power, the controller announces itself as a Bluetooth device that you can connect to with your phone. You can get the app to do that by scanning the QR code on the label, and it will show up in the list. Now how simple is that? There's a color picker, so you can select any color you want, as well as a few pre-programmed crossfades on animations and other features. You can also adjust the speed and the brightness of the animation, so that's kinda nice. Okay, so what can you do with it, and why even use such a thing? First, the wow factor. Useful or not, admit it, it's kinda cool to be able to control lights in your costume with your phone. And it's probably why you're watching this video, right? Second, convenience. It's already pretty tiny for an RGB controller, and the Bluetooth is just a cherry on top. I really see myself using these in a project where you can't fit a full-sized Arduino, for example. Third, animations. Now, they're not as elaborate as animations you would get with NeoPixels, but honestly, it's still a nice addition, and I can totally see plenty of people using them as is. Fourth, usefulness or flexibility. With this controller, you can add Bluetooth to already existing RGB projects, be it a costume or a prop or something else. You can add RGB strips to anything and control them with your phone. Also, another cool thing about it is that you can make it react to sound, so I bet it's gonna be cool for like festival or party clothes or accessories. Test. <laughs> And while it won't be the perfect fit for a lot of projects, I think that off-the-shelf solutions like this is a good way to get into fancier lighting effects with little effort. You can make your stuff react to sound, control it with your phone, so it must be expensive, right? Well, they're two dollars each. The LEDs themselves cost more than the controller. <laughs> so, what are the downsides? Honestly, there is none, really. Um, the only thing that I'm not super happy about is the lack of custom animations. Maybe it's possible with a different app. But uh, there might be also some hardware limitations that it might be just not fast enough because it's so cheap. But otherwise it's good, you know, it works as it should and how often does that happen? Anyway, if you want to check these out, I left a link down below. I already picked up a bunch of these because I have so many ideas where I could use them. Um, one idea is to use them in a sound reactive backpack, so maybe I'll make a video about that in the future and post it here. I hope you found this video interesting and uh, show it to a cosplayer friend or a crafty friend of yours that might find it useful. I would really love to see what people come up with and uh, end up lighting up. In any case, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mm.